irresponsible and unjust attacks concerning their faith and culture. Unfortunately, there exists a little hate, a little hate, and prejudice in our Danish society, but an influential one. Then some concerns, but to a degree a legitimate one. Therefore, I still believe that the, Dan that the Danes in general, and this includes myself, are concerned regarding the development in the society. I am using the word concern and not prejudice because I do not believe that Danes in general are prejudiced, as prejudiced, and I don't hope that my convictions regarding this will change in the future. There are those some, as I said earlier, which, which my conviction doesn't apply to. There is some politicians, it's journalists, some academicians or opinion makers, because they are contentious and they have predetermined ideas regarding Islam and Muslims in general, which they deliberately use in the actual debate in Denmark. Is this a prejudice put towards by me? No, I don't think so. The horrible and monstrous terror attacks in also Norway were a clear sign and indication of this. Just think about the media coverage, the hours after the attack, and what some debaters wrote in the wake of this attack. What happened cannot be legitimized in any way but it initiated a lot of thoughts in our minds regarding what we say, why we say some things regarding other perceptions, preferences, understanding and beliefs. I am not trying to limit the borders of freedom of speech, but questioning our mutual responsibility. Do our words harm others or inspire some to an extent that creates personalities or ideas that are dangerous for our Danish society that we are grateful for. Columnists, debaters and politicians have deliberately written about what we should learn from 2007 and unfortunately different ideologically anchored writings were written. Allegations were flying around and it was sad to read about. A beautiful answer had been given by the President 